Hello friends, it's Joseph here again with another Forex tutorial. In this particular episode, you are going to learn about who a Forex broker is. You are also going to learn about the qualities all right, of a good Forex broker, the things that you are required, you are supposed to look for before you open a brokerage account. And lastly, I'm going to like recommend all right, the best broker for beginners. All right. So if you have not watched the previous episode, you can basically go ahead and watch the previous episodes to understand more. All right. These are tutorials which I do made for what Forex and crypto beginners. So without wasting time, let's get right into the video. Who is a Forex broker? All right. You might be asking yourself who a Forex broker is. So a Forex broker basically is a financial institution or a firm. All right. Or you can basically say it's a company. All right. That what facilitates co currency trading for individuals and institution. So in simple man terms, a Forex broker is basically a company. All right. That what connects you to the Forex markets. Because like if you want to basically trade Forex directly, you can't basically trade. All right. Let's say you are in Africa and you want to trade the Forex market. It's going to be challenging, which means you have to travel and go towards these countries like Australia, Japan, these major currencies and all. So to make it easy, the Forex broker is what the middleman. The Forex broker is the company, all right, that connects you to what the Forex market. As mentioned previously on my other episode, I mentioned that you can basically trade Forex from anywhere in the world. This is due to the assistance of what? The Forex broker, all right? So the Forex broker does take the broker as what? The middleman, the one that is responsible for you, all right? That coordinates you and that of what? The Forex market. So they are like kind of what the middle person that coordinates you. So Forex brokers as, as what? Intermediaries, all right? Providing a platform for traders to buy and sell currencies in the foreign exchange market or the forex market for short so basically you are going to use what the forex the brokerage platform all right this is where you are basically going to place your trade all right this is where you are going to deposit your money this is where you are going to withdraw your profits from as well now when it comes to like what the brokerage platform it is very important because that is going to determine your profit or the amount of loss as well we are going to like go into what the things you need to look for as a beginner before ever you go ahead to create a brokerage account. All right. So basically, a forex broker is a financial institution or a company that what allows you to trade what currencies that allows you to what buy and sell currencies. All right, in the forex market. So if you have questions, don't hesitate. Drop them in the comment section. I'm going to respond within 24 hours. Now, let's look at what the qualities of a good Forex broker. Before you go ahead and open an account, you must see what these nine qualities, which I'm going to talk about. All right. The first quality is you need to choose a broker that is regulated. All right. What do I mean by regulated? A broker that is what? Reputable financial authority, which means it is known. All right. It is known. It is registered. All right, regulatory bodies help to ensure that the brokers follow what the industry standard, which means because if you are going to like be a broker, you need to follow or adhere to what the laws, all right? All right, the laws of what the financial market. So if you look for a broker that is regulated, it's going to what help you, it's going to keep your phone safe, all right? So you need to look for a broker that adheres towards financial regulations and provide what level of protection for clients' phone. You don't want to like just be depositing your money at the end of the day, they say, ah, oh, you have been scammed, this particular brokerage company is not working again, which means your money is what gone, all right? So you need to look for one with a good regulation. The second quality you need to look for when opening a brokerage account is Look for a brokerage account that has a user-friendly trading platform. Some brokerage platform is very difficult to use them. But if you basically have a user-friendly trading platform, it is going to be important. This is very important for beginners traders, even for professional traders as well. So you need to look for a broker that offers what an easy what a platform that is very easy to navigate. Navigate in the sense it's easy to move around. Okay. It is very beginner friendly. 
it has what a clear chart technical analysis tools if you have not like what the playlist kindly ensure to check the technical analysis playlist the link will be in the description so you can know more about technical analysis i explained about support and resistance and other stuff all right so you need what a good interface if you are also interested in learning about crypto or learning about forex for totally free kindly ensure to send a message by instagram at joseph cc concept all right and i'm going to add you to my telegram and whatsapp community I'm going to start one month free crypto and forex training for beginners and ladies are highly encouraged to participate please so let's go to the next qualities you need to look for a broker that provides educational resources a good broker or right for beginners provide educational resources to help traders understand the basic of forex trading all right this may come in different forms like in tutorials webinars articles blog posts and other educational materials to support the learning process don't forget you are a beginner even if you are a professional trader you are definitely going to keep learning when it comes to the financial market learning is not going to stop you are just going to keep learning for the rest of your life because the market changes its patterns and other stuff so you need to what um understand the new trend the next one is what demo account you need to look for a forex broker that provides a demo account like a demo account is basically the broker uh, an account where, which the broker provides for you with what virtual funds all right fake money which you are going to be using to practice what your strategies all right you are going to be using to practice because you just don't want to deposit money immediately into your brokerage account as a beginner you are going to lose the money because you don't know what you are doing all right although i'm not in support of like using demo for a very long time because if you are trading with a demo account the emotion the psychology is different when you're trading with a real account but it is always good to start with a demo account at least for a week or two so you need to look for a broker that offers demo accounts okay which you are going to basically use to practice what your strategies all right and you can gain on an experience the good thing about using a demo account is it's going to help you to get used to what the platform at least it's going to help you to know how to what navigate or know how to what move around the platform know how to what basically like try to deposit how to withdraw and do one or two other stuff as well okay the fifth quality you need to look for is what low spreads and commission so this is like what very important as mentioned um, from the beginning of this tutorial is like the brokerage platform is going to determine your profit or the amount of loss you are going to make so you need to look for low transaction costs they are very important for beginners look for a broker with competitive spread what do we mean by spread a spread is basically the fee which you pay to what the broker all right Be, you pay yes for you to use the brokerage platform you pay before you place a trade or uh, after you are trying to close a trade you might pay they have like different ways so the difference between the bid price and ask price don't worry i'm going to like explain what a bid price is in upcoming videos but you can watch my complete course forex for beginners i've explained already it is like three hours long so i'm basically trying to break this down into different partition so you want what a brokerage platform with low spreads and commission the next quality is availability of currency peers if you have watched previously the episode the previous episode which i did before coming to this then you understand what a currency peer is all right don't forget we have what three major categories we have the major currency peers we have what the cross currency peers and exotic currency peers some coins like some brokers basically provide us major currency peers some provide us cross currency peers so if you don't know what a currency peer is ensure you go back to the playlist forex for beginners and watch the video so you can catch up with us okay so you want a brokerage platform that provides both the major minor and if possible exotic currency peers all right so you have multiple choice all right so the next one is what customer support I can't just like like stress on this response and knowledgeable customer support is crucial it is very important for beginners who may have questions or encounter issue maybe you have like the um, 
problem with depositing your phone or withdrawing your phone, all right, or even doing verification. So you need to choose a broker with excellent customer support. Two various channels can be live chat, email, phone, and other different medium. But you need what a broker that have a good customer support. The next thing is what security and data protection. This is also very vital. Ensure that you what look for a broker that provides what high security and data protection because when you are going to open your brokerage account definitely they are going to ask you to do verification you are going to enter your name you have to do what verification either use your national id card your passport book or any other identification document so some brokerage platform basically sell this to third parties all right i don't want to mention names but they do sell this to third party providers all right which they basically use for other stuff for their service and all that all right, so you basically need to look for a broker that provides a good security and data protection for you. And the last quality which you must look for, which this is key, is like look for a broker with different deposits and withdrawal methods. Ensure that the broker has different methods of which you can deposit your funds and also withdraw your cash. And most especially, you need to look for a broker that allows you to deposit and withdraw 24 seven 24 hours seven days a week why am i saying this you need to look for a broker that provides for different deposit method it's going to be in usdt which is like in crypto it can be in bank transfer it can be your local money maybe you are from sierra Leone. you have orange money you have mtn money transfer different where wherever you're watching you are watching this tutorial form you have a different payment form all right so it is very good and when i mentioned about 24 7 all right it is key Let's say you have an emergency, all right? Your mom is sick, your dad or your wife or husband, or there's kind of like emergency, all right? Emergency arises at any time and your phone is in your account. Some brokerage platform don't allow you to withdraw during the weekend, except Monday and Friday. So imagine now then an emergency occurred during the weekend. What are you going to do? It's going to be imbalanced. Maybe you try to ask for friends, ask for assistant, but they can't help you. So you need to look for a broker that allows you to basically what withdraw and deposit anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even during weekends, you can go ahead. So there comes to what the question. Who of these brokers, all right? We have thousands of brokers have what these particular qualities. So the broker which I'm basically using, they have a very low spread, all right? So if you want the broker that I'm going to recommend for you, it's going to be Xness, okay? Check the link in the description section, create your account, all right, with my referral link, and you're going to get a whole lot of what benefit as well. Xness is very good, all right? I don't know, you might have had one or two negative stuff, but we all have different experience, but I've been using Xness for quite some time, and their fees it's very low they have high amount of security you can deposit 24 hours with that anytime and a whole lot of other opportunities so check the link in the description section of this video and you can basically create your account it's basically takes less than two minutes and you can do your verification in less than five minutes as well let me know if you have any question uh, drop them in the comment section i'm going to be happy to respond to you and if you need any further assistance in your forex trading Please don't hesitate to reach out to me at Joseph Stay Concept, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm going to be happy to respond to you and we can work out on something. Stay blessed. See you in upcoming tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe if you find value in this tutorial. See you.